you wondered how towing mirrors, especially while extended, affect your fuel efficiency in your truck? Well, we did, and as such, we're going to do two loops. One with the mirrors down, and one with the mirrors up. Because, hey, let's find out how this actually affects MPG. Moose mode. Nathan, I was on the fence about this type of design mirror for a long time. Uh -huh. And then I've decided I really dislike this Ram mirror. Okay, well this is the old school Ram mirror and yes. there's two components to it really that change when you flip it up. Yeah, so it has a big, or relatively big, uh, by today's standards, a little small a standard mirror. Also the convex mirror on the bottom. So you can direct both, of course. And this is a manual mirror because it's a tradesman base truck. Right. But once you do that, then you have to redirect everything, right? I know, that's what I don't like about this, because you have to walk around the other side and do it manually, unless you get the Laramie Longhorn, where this is power operated, but who has $95,000? Well, not only that, but who has the time to actually sit there and redo the mirrors every single time? Roman would freak out. I mean, he gets angry when grass isn't growing fast enough, yes. so he, he would definitely dislike this. But there's an important point to this. W what is it? This isn't the only type of mirror that can be manually moved, right? I mean, almost every truck maker has something that's unique to their truck. Yes, but I would, we can go over it next. Right. But I would wager a lot of Ram and Dodge truck owners leave their mirrors up because they don't want to readjust them. Exactly. And it could affect your efficiency. It could. All right, so we're gonna get some gas. And I honestly don't think there's going to be a big change. I'm sorry, I'm going to what say that on is? camera now, but, but there's not going to be. Okay, well, let's stop off the trucks to make it fair. We're going to run the same loop twice. And TFL runs on Sinclair, by the way. We do. And that's because of DinoCare, fuel additive performance enhancer for our fuel, and also DinoPay app to save money. And for this loop, we're using 87 octane. Uh, technically, there's also 85 here at higher elevation in Boulder, but to keep it even and kind of, because everybody has 87. Yeah. Um, not everybody has 85. That so is we're gonna, correct. We're going to keep it 87 this time. Okay, 30 seconds and then we do our one click. Ah, okay. always a small tiny top off. Yep, yep. You know, they call me Andre Top Off. They have other words for you too, but the good news <laughs> is, now that we have that, you know, we're doing two loops, remember, so we're gonna have to come back here, fill up, and do the whole thing over again, and then fill up one more time. In moose mode, with the mirrors. Moose mode second. First, we're gonna do flat Straight mirror up. mode. <laughs> flat by, the way, by the way, this is a series of videos. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. And last episode, we had a chin spoiler with and without. Yes. And now we're running with the chin spoiler attached. So That's right, he actually reattached it. Yes, so we have it. All right, we have reset. It's actually a warm day today, dude. Yeah, I actually overdressed. You know, we recently had really, really, really cold weather, like 15 below yeah. zero and all that, so. Now it's 56. Yeah, which is <laughs> super warm. But we're gonna do both of these loops in, I said loops. We're gonna do both of these loops back to back. So the weather conditions should be about the same. There is some wind. We're feeling it right now, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's like the good old times. Yeah, uh, these, these loops are fun. Well, here's what we did, right? We bought this basic truck. It's a two door, four wheel drive, six foot, four inch bed. It's stubby. It's, we call him stubby. He's powered by a 3.6 liter Panastar V6, uh -huh. basic engine. And really, it's, he's rated at about 23 MPG on the highway for a four-wheel drive truck, which is actually not too bad for a full-size vehicle. This is a full-size truck, even yeah. though its length is not. <laughs> it's stubby. It's stubby. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna maintain uh, 65 on this little stretch, but 75 basically is gonna be majority of the trip. Yeah. And so highway we, only, you saw how quickly we got on the highway. It was literally like half a mile, maybe quarter mile. Quarter mile, I'd yeah. Say, yeah. So bam, and we're gonna keep uh, cruise control rolling Right now we're in stock mode, but yep. we want to do it every single time uh, as a baseline, run the truck as it is.
So now, dude, we gotta talk about the different mirror styles like we promised. And so you generally have standard mirrors, mm -hmm. right, right? That do not have, usually don't, but sometimes do, have a convex portion to them. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Then there's the towing mirror, which is we have here. Uh, the towing mirror is called towing because it can be expanded, like we said, um, to see around your trailer, so it extends a little bit further. Yeah. And it also has a light, little marker light, which is also really cool. And then other mirrors are completely automated, where they pop in and out, or they fold in and out, they pop up or whatever, and all the mirrors themselves can be adjusted automatically from inside. So, uh, dude, let's get on the tollway right here, and let's put some miles uh, down. All right, Nathan, so, so far, smooth sailing, right? Yeah, MPG and everything is pretty much what we expected. So, so far, so good, and now we have to do part two. Well, my friend, we have completed our baseline loop. That's right, so technically, we're one quarter of the way finished. Or one half. Well, we could say one quarter and one half. Okay, well, so we'll we'll pull up to the pump, right? Right. We'll show you exactly what the truck says and what the fuel pump says, and we'll set it at that for today. And then we'll flip our mirrors up and do it again. And do it one more time. So the computer says 22.4. 22.3, sucker, just dropped. Oh, no. Slam. Let's verify this 22.4. This is all stock trucks, stock tires. Uh, everything, as you can see, you know, properly inflated to spec. It's at about 40. Oh, Nathan, people are going to comment about that. Isn't it? Where is, where's the little? Oh, there it there. is. There. Now you made people happy. Uh, here we so, go. So this loop is 57 miles dead on. Okay. Because we've done it, what now, three times? Right. And we've used the GPS to double check that. Yes. So we're using 57. Ooh, 30 seconds. That was a big top off. Yeah, that's about the same though. I've seen it do that before. Oh, sheesh. All right, let's calculate. All right, dude, so 57 miles divided by 2.18. That's precisely the gallons we used. Whoa, mother. What does it say? Is that true? I, well, I can't. 26.1. Well, what, what, what's the sound EPA? What, what the... 23. Okay. You know what? The tunnel cover and that chin are amazing. I would want to say. Yeah, when you combine the two together. Yeah. And then on top of that, we were driving the speed limit, so we weren't really pushing it too hard. So yeah, I guess it's possible. All right, it's time to go into moose mode. Nathan. Yep. I'm going to do my side first. Uh, okay. Patow. I'm not going to be too dramatic about doing this, but, but, but it's up. Up. Andre Nathan. Andre thinks this is going to make it cleaner. Nathan. This is, there's a little bit of uh, schmutz here, so I, we need to uh, make this cleaner so it's perfect for the test loop. I really do not understand why you're doing this. No, look at this. No, look. What has Roman done to you? Look at the dirt. Yeah, newsflash, there's dirt on other parts of the truck. Are you going to do the whole Dono cover too? <laughs> oh man, the mirrors are really wacky. Oh, oh did Oh, we need to fix them. Yeah, we'll do, I can do it right oh. here. See, right. that's what I'm talking about. I mean, honestly, that lower mirror, if you could drop it down. Just a couple hairs? Yeah, but out to the to the outside of the, yes. Oh, outside? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Stop, stop, oh, stop. Okay. Don't touch. Okay. All right, dude, so we are back on the tollway. Right, this is the fast highway. This is where we can cruise at 75, which is exactly what I have cruise control set at. So do you feel like you could look around every trailer behind you? The lower convex mirror, especially on the driver's side, you really get an excellent view of everything that's in your lane and the next lane over, and you can still see your trailer. So it works. But yes. would you drive all the time with these mirrors up like this? Well, you know, I, honestly, I think I would. That is interesting, but it feels like they're so out there. So negotiating like tight alleyways, 
or you know parking in the city I would always feel like my mirrors are always at well they're way definitely out there. what is it, about three inches further out than they were when they're folded or I two think inches so. yeah between two and three inches further out than they were when they were folded but the other side of it is uh, I think that it's a little bit more I don't know clear. Well, according to this, it's 22.1 MPG. Uh, our lapse time is 58 point, well, basically 58 minutes. And this says we did 56.6 miles, but we know it's 57. Yeah, and last time it said, I think, 22.4 or 22.3. So technically, this could be a little bit worse, but by how much? That's really the question if it's even, you know, worth measuring, okay. which is exactly what we're going to do. So I am betting it's gonna be worse. What do you think? About I, the same? I think it's gonna be worse, but the question is by what margin? If it's only a half a mile per gallon or whatever, then I don't really that doesn't then it's almost negligible at exactly, that point. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's gotta it's gotta be a noticeable difference. Okay. What? Okay, I'm timing. Dude, I, if my memory serves me correctly, we're already over where we were before. Can you touch that screen a little bit more? I just want to make absolutely sure you wipe up every booger that's been left behind. And go. Okay. So, dude, if you remember last time, we got 26.1. Yep. Which was quite incredible. Yeah. I almost uh, fell on my, um, on my butt. Yeah. But now, 57 miles. Divide by, what is it? Uh, 2.799. Yep, 2.799. I couldn't see it with all the boogers smeared on this one. <laughs> oh my god! It's 20.4. Six MPG different. Is that six, right? Six. Six. Um, well, uh, this is real world testing. I mean, that's the result we got. We, we use the same pump in the same world. The temperature is almost identical. It's in case people The conditions are identical. Yeah. There's some wind but in but both just cases. Just like both cases. We, we ran into pretty much the same amount of traffic, which is next to none. We maintained the speed limit both times, 65 and 75. So here's the verdict, guys. I'm sorry, no more moose mode. If you're towing the trailer, yes. Put up your mirrors, look around your trailer. But um, definitively speaking, according to this test, it hurts you to have your mirrors up. You realize what's gonna happen next. What? Our viewers are gonna demand that we try every type of mirror, every permutation, every form of mirror that is available on every type of pickup truck to see what the differences are. That's coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see you next time, and OTFL.com is where you'll see everything automotive in one place.